All right, so I want to go over a few things uh, about this specific electrical panel and just some things to look for when you're looking at uh, panels, electrical panels. This is the main electrical panel for this house. This is an older house and this is an older panel. Still working fine, no issues with it, but it does have some discrepancies, it does have some things about it that are, that are wrong. Uh, and do pose a bit of a hazard, a bit of a safety hazard. So I've already taken the screws off this front cover. This is a 100 amp uh, panel. Let me just pull this front cover off. Set it off to the side. Okay, so the issues going on with this panel are, it's, it's what's called double tapping and here is an example if you look close you have this breaker this is a 20 amp breaker and you have actually two wires coming off one there let me turn this around one there and one here it's called a double tap and you're not supposed to do that especially on this I mean you can on rare occasions if the breaker allows for it and how you can find that out is you read these stickers on each breaker. I know you can't read the writing, it's very small. But it's gonna tell you if it says one pole, that means you got you can put one circuit branch or one wire from it. If it says two pole, it's designed to have two wires as long as they're the same size. Here's another example. You have a wire here, a wire here, going in under the same screw. So the issue is it was not designed for two wires and one of the wires can become loose and it can start arcing okay which is a electrical hazard and a fire hazard so also here's an obvious thing is look at all this exposed copper on this these are called the branch circuits all these wires coming off the breakers and then all this exposed copper okay that's just sloppy work it's an easy fix it's just it's very sloppy um, you want to look for arcing, any evidence of black carbon or anything that got hot, or any melted plastic, or any evidence of sparking and arcing. And when you're looking inside these panels, this panel has, I don't know if you, you can tell here, it's got a bit of corrosion on some of the metal. And that's likely due to the high humidity down in this basement of this old house. Here is some debris. It just needs to be cleaned out. You don't want debris in there. It's, it could catch on fire, possibly. So we have double tapping. And also we have improperly sized wire for this. This is a, right there you'll see it, 20 amp breaker. This is actually 14 gauge wire. You're not supposed to use 14 gauge wire on a 20 amp breaker. 14 gauge wire is okay to use for a 15 amp breaker. It's hard to tell the difference between the sizes of this wiring. For instance, here is a, these, these wires are 10 gauge wires. This is actually probably for the water heater maybe. This is a 220, 30 amp double breaker. So basically you don't wanna have too small of a wire on a breaker. It's okay to go too large of a wire on a breaker, but it's when you go too small of a wire, if there's a short, what's gonna happen is it's not gonna trip the breaker, it's gonna start melting the wire because the wire is too small. But if you've got your wiring right, once there's a short, if there's a short, it'll trip that breaker. So let's just run through everything real quick. You got your two hots coming in from the pole. These are the two hots coming over here and they're going into this main 100 amp breaker. And here is the neutral going over here to the neutral uh, bus bar, which is also the ground bus bar. In this particular case, there's just one bus bar on, in this panel. In the main panels, the neutral and the ground bus bar are one and the same. Typically you'll see where they've been bonded together. So. Any panel after that, any sub-panel, the ground bar, the ground bus bar and the neutral bus bar have to be separated. So 
but you know I've seen double tapping a lot of times you'll see this with older panels you know this is a hundred amp panel and honestly there was really no reason to double tap you can see there's a space here for a breaker and you have empty space uh, two empty slots down here for breakers there's really no reason for this uh, but sometimes when there's people that feel like they're running out of room they'll do this they'll, they'll double tap and it's just not a good idea uh, let's see uh, when you when you rate this, when you want to determine your electrical service rating, you know you go by three factors. Number one is the main breaker rating. Number two is your wire, the entry entrance wire size, and number three is what the panel, <clears throat> what the panel itself is rated for. So you look on this. You look on this inside this door of this box, and it'll tell you right here. It'll say 100 amp max. So this this panel is rated for 100 amps. So you look at the three factors: the panel rating, the wire size rating, and the main the main breaker rating, and you take the smallest number of all three. Uh, factors. So, for, for instance, if you know if this wiring was smaller, and if it was only rated for like 60 amps, then the rating for this panel would be a 60 would be 60 amps. That's how you do that. So, I hope this helps. Uh, I just hope that you know you can know kind of what to look for with these panels. This panel, eh, it's an older panel. It's got some issues, but none of this is major. So when I was in training, when I was in home inspection training, we were inspecting a house and there was actually double tapping coming off of this main breaker. So that's really, that's even more dangerous than a double tapping coming off of one of these branch circuit breakers. So anyway, I hope this helps. Um, we'll see you on the next video.